So you can see here in this evaporating dish is a characteristic blue color solution of copper 2 sulfate. So some of you might be wondering if you're already done when you reach this step. But whenever we do salt preparation, we actually want to obtain the solid salt crystals. So in this case, because we only have the solution of copper 2 sulfate, not the copper 2 sulfate crystals, that means we're not done yet. So how we obtain the copper 2 sulfate crystals is, we have to heat it and allow it to undergo crystallization. So when we do that, there are a few important things to take note of. Firstly, the apparatus. We have this thing called the tripod stand, it has three legs. On top of the tripod stand, we put the wire gauze. Then we take the evaporating dish with copper 2 sulfate solution and we put it on top of the wire gauze like this. So make sure that everything is stable so that you don't have to touch it when you, are, when you start heating. Second of all, make sure that you are wearing goggles. Your safety goggles are extremely important because we are heating in this case. The next one is talking about the Bunsen burner. Some of you might already be quite familiar with the Bunsen burner from SEC2 work, but just, let's just recap again for those who are not too sure. So for the Bunsen burner, we always have it connected to the gas tap. So make sure that when you turn on the gas tap, you turn on the correct gas tap and light the correct Bunsen burner. The gas tap when it's closed, is always perpendicular to the gas line. So make sure that when you turn it off or on, that is always, when it's closed, it's supposed to be perpendicular. Next, before you even start lighting, make sure that the Bunsen burner, the air hole, is not like this. It should not be open. The gas hole should always be closed. This is to prevent strike back. If there's strike back, the gas will come out through this air hole here, and you might end up with a fire coming out through this air hole instead of coming out from the top, which is what you want. So always make sure that the air hole is completely closed. So when we do this, later on when we light it, make sure that when you take your lighter, you light it on top of the Bunsen burner. If you light it from this distance, it's not going to light up because it's too far away. So make sure that you are at a good enough distance for the lighter to light the Bunsen burner. So now I'm going to turn on the gas tap, where you press it down, and then you turn it until it's aligned with the gas line. Then you light it. Okay. So you can see now the Bunsen burner is lighted up. This is a flame that we don't want because it's flying all over the place. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the gas. We're going to open the air hole now. So when we open the air hole, the flame will be more controlled. It's easier for you. It's safer for you as well, and the heating will take place faster. When we get this blue color flame, usually what we have is a very strong flame, and we don't need such a strong flame for crystallization. So what we're going to do is. We are going to turn the gas tap down slowly so that we get a smaller flame. You can roughly gauge how big the flame is from the sound or the size of the flame. Now with this, we are going to put the tripod stand with the evaporating dish on top and heat it. So while we are doing this, we are also given a glove this glove is not for you to be Michael Jackson, but it's for you to be safe. So put on the glove and make sure that whenever you are handling your evaporating dish, you are wearing this glove because the evaporating dish is going to be very hot. So at this point in time, you should not be touching your evaporating dish. You should just let it slowly warm up and let the water evaporate away. This process can be a bit long, so you will just have to wait. At this point in time, you should start to see a little bit of bubbling. So this indicates that boiling of the water is actually taking place. Remember that when we're talking about copper 2 sulfate solution, or any solution in general, we are taking a salt and dissolving it in water. So the water, whenever we are heating, is the one that's going to be boiled away, not the copper 2 sulfate salt. So when we boil the water away, we are going to be, do it in a very slow manner, so that whatever we have left will just be the copper 2 sulfate crystals. Take note that your bubbling should not be too vigorous 
It should not be a very quick boiling away of water. And later I'll explain to you why. During this time also, as far as possible, try to refrain from touching your evaporating dish or moving it because this can also affect the crystallization process. If your boiling is too vigorous, you should turn down the flame a bit. One safety aspect is that when you are watching your copper 2 sulfate solution evaporate to dryness, please don't put your face over the evaporating dish, even though you're wearing goggles, it's still not very safe in case there's sputtering. <laughs> 